So here's the thing. It's February 24th and I still refuse to take this off of my bed. And a lot of people have been yelling at me online about it, saying like, Caitlin, take down your Christmas decorations. I feel like it's not really a Christmas decoration. I feel like it's winter themed, you know? It's fine. It's cute. My bed looks so cute with this on. Why I felt the need to start my video off ranting about that, I don't know. But hi, I'm going to Minneapolis in a few hours. Why? I don't know. Because it's one degree out there right now and God, I hate the cold. No, but like actually it's 1140 right now and my flight boards at 545 in the morning. I just filmed a ton of brand deals. I edited all day long. I went to the eye doctor today. I went to the Dyson store to repair my Dyson Airwrap. Like I have had a productive day and I'm really proud of myself. And Minneapolis is where Sydney is from and she has been trying to get me to go there with her for so long. Like I cannot even tell you how many times she has tried to get me to go with her. And I was supposed to go a few months ago, but last minute I just couldn't go anymore. So like this is extremely long overdue. And the night before that trip, I canceled my flight last minute, but I'm not doing that this time. I'm getting on the flight, even though it means I'm only gonna have like four hours of sleep before I have to wake up. And I'm probably not even gonna get four hours of sleep because when Sydney's gone, the cats go insane. So they kept me up all last night and they're probably gonna keep me up tonight. So I'm probably gonna get no sleep. I don't know why I'm talking at the speed of light right now. I think I'm just like so overtired and crashing, but like also I have so much energy right now and I don't know why. I'm so excited because I haven't been to the airport in a few weeks. Like seriously, I put myself in a timeout. I told myself I'm not allowed to travel. I had to delete the Delta app for a minute and I wasn't doing anything until I got things done that I've been putting off for a while. And now that it's all done, I get to reward myself with the airport and the Delta lounge and flying Delta. Like guys, my favorite thing in the entire world is taking a flight with Delta. I hate all the other airlines. I cannot wait to get up and go straight to the airport into the Delta lounge and eat food. Like I kind of want to shut up right now so we can just get to the part where I'm at the airport. Sydney's already there. She left yesterday. It's been a hard day being separated from her. And when I land tomorrow at like noonish Minneapolis time, Riley, if you've been following along my Instagram stories, and I think there's been a vlog by now, Riley is Sydney's friend from Minneapolis. She's been staying with us for a hot minute. She keeps just like visiting randomly, which we love, but she looks like Meg and she acts exactly like Meg. So I automatically loved her when I met her, but don't tell her that because that's cringy. Oh my God, she's gonna make fun of me for saying this, but she is going to pick me up from the airport because Sydney will probably be already at the bar by the time I land. Yeah, we have a lot of things going on tomorrow. We have a hockey game. We're bar hopping. I'm meeting all of Sydney's friends from Minneapolis. I'm going to the Mall of America. I get to go to the Margaritaville there. I really wanted to go on the log ride, but it's allegedly closed. I don't know. I'm not gonna spoil everything that we're doing right now because then you're like not gonna need to watch the video. A lot of fun is about to happen in Minneapolis. Let's go. I'm gonna go to bed so that I can go to the Delta Lounge bright and early. See you at like four in the morning. To Minneapolis we go. Guys, this is my second new city this year. I went to zero new cities all of 2021. That is not very impulsive decisions of me. See you soon. Bye. It appears I am in Minneapolis with Meg. <laughs> a present. I literally call her Meg every single day of my life and she just went out of her way into this. That's so nice. That's nice. The only nice part. Yeah. The whole week. After this, we have to go back to being mean to each other. You can actually just return this. This is weird. Okay, I'll take it from <laughs> No, I'm kidding. This is actually amazing. God, fireball. Last time I had fireball with you, I ended up at a subway. <laughs> like, guys. Oh, God. Here we go. Does anyone know why I'm in a city that is one degree outside? Because God, I have no idea. I just noticed that she literally signed it Riley slash Meg. <laughs> And for some reason, everyone's been calling me Baby Kate, which I don't understand at all. One of their friends here is just calling me that, and I guess we're gonna go with it. None of you are allowed to call me that, though. Not the peeps. <laughs> We've been calling ourselves the peeps lately. I don't really know why. Chicks rule. <laughs> Do we though? Do we really? Oh my god. And then of course, I'm so happy to have this I right now. I bought the last six at Target. You did? My oh my god, as you should. Guys, I'm sitting in Riley's room right now editing and she just walks in and goes, I just requested Coachella off. Like Coachella dates off for work. I literally met her like two weeks ago and the other day we were sitting in the car and I was like, you know you're getting dragged to Coachella this year, right? I'm screaming. You are unbelievable. God, is this your nightmare? It appears that I am at the Mall of America and I am so excited right now. I have always wanted to come here. There's roller coasters in here. I want to go on the log ride. I want to go on this. Oh my God. If I had just wiped out, I almost just wiped out. Not me breaking my leg at the Mall of America. Like, are you kidding? I want to go on all the roller coasters so bad, but we're going to wait for Sydney. Oh wait, I, I should probably explain why I'm not with Sydney right now. And I'm just with you. And I haven't even like acknowledged that. By the way, we parked in the Hawaii parking lot. Fitting. So Sydney got here two days ago and she spent all last night at the hospital. I'm gonna have her explain that later. Everything's normal pretty much, but she's at her other friend's house right now And Riley is babysitting me in the meantime <laughs> The only thing I think about whenever I hear this mall is the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson meet up a few years ago. That was like catastrophic. Okay, I'm gonna go into the mall and behave like a normal person now. <laughs> it's gonna be catastrophic regardless. Here I go. Oh my God, I am in the mall of America. If you're under 16, you can't come in here. You have to close without an adult. <laughs> no. stop you. If I got stopped and I'm 23 years old. Wait, really? Yeah. I thought you were kidding. I thought you were like making a joke about me being... No, like sometimes if you look like not old enough, they'll like stop you and be like, can I see your ID? What? Not that people needing know. supervision at the mall of America. This is why. Oh my god, I'm gonna have fun! Oh my god, are you actually kidding me right now? What 
Oh my god. This is unreal. Is that Wonder Pets? Oh my god. There is no way. Oh my god. No, not the being next to each other. Shut the fuck up. This is heaven. So I am back from the mall. I didn't really get much, but what I did get, I'm going to show you tomorrow because we're going to go back and do the rides and everything. We just couldn't do that now because it is time for me to get into the mix of Minnesota. So Sydney's been at her friend's house all day and we're going to go meet her at this bar right now and pregame there for a few hours. And then we're going to go to the Gophers hockey game tonight. I like have no idea what's going on. I'm just kind of letting them all drag me everywhere and also tell me what to wear. I've been told that I have to wear this, but it's adorable and it's so me. So I don't even care. I'm going to switch to my other camera and then we're going to meet up with Sydney because I haven't seen her in two days and she has to tell you her hospital story. Everything's normal. Um, I don't really know what is in store for me tonight, but let's find out. Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh my God. Stop. Stop. What do you want from me? Fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like what? for like an extremely long time has come to a Margaritaville is actually insane to me. Like what is even going on? I have my priorities right in a row. <laughs> I actually cannot believe I am sitting at the Margaritaville at the Mall of America. This is what we said we were gonna do, we had to do it. There was nothing that was gonna bring me down. <laughs> nothing. No, and I begged for a reservation too. Like they kept saying it was gonna be so long and I kept begging and begging and begging and they finally let us sit and God, is this the best day of my life? Well, it's gonna be the best day of my life once I get on the rides, but that's after I get my hands on a margarita. I have to get my hands on a Bahama Mama. Not a Bahama Mama. Boy, is it really five o'clock somewhere. Five o'clock all day, every day in my head. <laughs> Make up for lost time. We're going to the Margaritaville in Nashville, Times Square, the Mall of America, Universal Studios. Yep. And then we put in a request to go to the Margaritaville in Costa Rica. <laughs> We're taking our brand worldwide. We are going 2022, worldwide. baby. <laughs> Put my hand on your back. I'm trying to steal my things. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. She's stealing my shin bag. Give me the paws on my shin bag. <laughs> hey, that is not from CN. Oh, that is from somewhere in London. Yes, that's my bag. You don't even know what's mine and what's yours anymore. Are you no, fucking kidding me? Yeah, together. <laughs> There's graham crackers in that? You have to do a what's in my purse. Oh, Item beauty lip gloss, a staple, obviously. Okay. My ID, obviously. Obviously. If anyone stole this, they'd get nothing out of it, but my debit <laughs> card, obviously. Obviously. Liquid IV, obviously. obviously. A hair tie, obviously. obviously. My ticket from last night, <laughs> Obviously. A graham cracker. Not obviously. obviously. <laughs> yeah. I had an upset stomach. So you're carrying around one single graham cracker. How long has that been sitting in there for? Just a few hours. And I have to wrap it back up. Obviously. Obviously. I remember every single thing I did last night. I remember every single interaction. I might be at the bottom of the pyramid. Yeah, and you put me at the bottom of the pyramid before. Because you were supposed to be so I was supposed to be week. in my element. This was supposed to be my weekend, my thing. Fortunately, my stomach collapsed. <laughs> so I did not get to live up to the expectations. But after you fell out of the Uber last night. Yeah, I don't, don't really have a recollection of that guys, one. I finally got everything I deserve coming from me. Because I'm normally the fucked up one. And I will admit that. But last night, we got out of the Uber. Caitlin <laughs> fell out of the Toyota Camry head first. The guy literally was sitting there. And you fell out and he goes, <laughs> I'm like, no, she's fine. He's fine. Dude, I like the rhinestone boots. See, I just remembered also that when he... <laughs> oh, no. That's you, never good. When you fell out of the Uber. <laughs> oh, God. Head first, dude, you're so glad. <laughs> I was wondering why I woke up this morning and there was a lens popped out of my sunglasses. I was like, when did I have these on last night? I can't see. Bro, they were on top of your head. When you fell out of the room, the lens popped out. It gets actually worse because then when I finally got Caitlin into the lobby of the apartment, she looked at me in all seriousness and sits on the couch and says, no, we're not going anywhere. I just called the Uber. I'm like, 
I called the Uber. Where? I'm like, we're at home. We're going to bed. And she's like, no, I just called the Uber. I just called the Uber. And now I'm terrified. I'm like, where the fuck? What address did she put in? Where was I possibly going? You definitely put our address in an LA. And we're, we're trying to go home. I don't know. But you were dead set on not letting me go upstairs. Because you called the Uber. As if we were going to another party at 2 in the morning. God. What was I fucking talking about? I don't know. But I cannot get the visual image of you falling out of <laughs> out of the Uber out of my head. I'm like, is that why my head hurts right now? Is it not the hangover? Is it just because I fracked my skull? <laughs> as soon as you get home, because you get home before me, you better put yourself right back at the bottom of the <laughs> I will. I will do the ceremony of putting myself at the bottom. But it, I didn't even like really do anything exciting to go to the bottom of the pyramid. You just couldn't drink. So it's like, I don't even have a fun story. Like I just fell head first out of an Uber. <laughs> I'm just cheating my way to stay at the top of the pyramid. You cheated. You're a cheater. God, you know if I could drink, I would have been drinking. My flight is in like three hours and I haven't gone on a single ride at the Mall of America. What do you have to say? It's my fault. We went nowhere, we saw no one, we <laughs> ate no good food. I like don't know what to say. I spent so much money and what did I do? I fell head first out of an Uber. It appears we've taken an L. I have to drive city to Boston now. I don't know if I can go anywhere. First of all, I'm never eating chicken again. Fully support that. I'm vegan. I'm sober and I'm vegan. <laughs> Breaking news, guys. A lot of things have happened in the last 48 hours or since the last time you guys heard from me. I'm sober and vegan. <laughs> I'm spiritual. You believe believe in God. I love God. I love Jesus. And I love plants. I would do anything for mozzarella sticks in the log ride right now. I have dying to go home and all I saw was the ER. Dude, you just wanted attention. Just admit it. <laughs> I wanted to come home and get attention. Anyways, we're going to go get food right now and pick, not we're picking, what? Why am I buffering? I on the window. Buffering. <laughs> Your batteries are recharging after you hit your head out of the Uber. <laughs> Anyways, we have to see Riley and I have to hear about her night because I am so confused as to why we went home without her. She went home with the guy I already hooked up with. Uh, oh my God. God. Riley. Riley, are you sure? She is a homie hopper. We just love to share things in our friend group. We are so kind. Why do we all share the same Instagram guys. TikTok of you're confused? I'm fucking confused, bro. Sharing is caring. We all care so much about each other. I have to have food. Isn't the worst part is, is I can't figure out how to connect to the ox in Riley's car, so I can't play the Jonas Brothers. Worst day ever. I didn't get to go on the log ride, and I can't listen to Joe Bros. He ate my life. Can you please do a haul of everything in your bag right now? My shirt? My sticky hair. That is so serious. <laughs> obvious. I think you are. Yeah, Honestly, I might be too. Dude, <laughs> now you have a good case for your disposable camera. Band-aid, three lip glosses, hockey ticket. <laughs> I thought that was a movie ticket. She went to the movies last night. <laughs> she surprised I went to the movies. My wallet. Oh, with everything in it. Wow. Good day to be you. I think I need to get a filet. That is so embarrassing. <laughs> Why is that embarrassing? Who wakes up at a Sunday brunch and says I'm going to order a fucking filet? Dude, me. Having a filet while hungover is one of the greatest joys in life. It is my privilege. It is a great day to be me. No, it's not. You eat like an egg sandwich like a normal person. You just order fucking gets an egg sandwich right now. I don't know. Let's take a vote. Let's ask the bar. <laughs> what if I stood up and asked everyone if I should get an egg oh, sandwich or a filet? Hell, here eats an egg sandwich. <laughs> be honest. If you like egg sandwiches, please raise your hand. Put your hand down. I bet I could get some other votes if I got somebody's attention. Like they stand up and they're like, when they tell people happy birthday. <laughs> but you stand up to ask. Attention, Nordhaus. <laughs> we have a very special question. <laughs> I do not want an egg sandwich. I want a pepper crusted filet. God, I love chicken tortilla soup. Dude, you've been sick because of chicken all week. You cannot get chicken tortilla soup. You're so right. That'd be slanderous. I have to do taco. <laughs> Look at Riley. She has seen better days. <laughs> Riley, how does it feel to sleep with my sloppy seconds? <laughs> we just cuddled. It was the best cuddle. I, I slept with him first. That's fine. Hey, there's a song for that. Oh, wait, no, but she can't listen to it because she didn't hit it. Oh. Uh, uh, is she serious? <laughs> really, it was the not yet necessary Riley. You know Riley's already a character in the vlogs when we're already talking about her sex life. <laughs> like, I feel like that's your official initiation into this. You have to expose your private love life information. <laughs> I've got nothing to share right now. Okay, Sydney just handed her ID to the server and while she was handing it, she goes, this better work. As in like, she is trying to drink because she hasn't been able to drink all weekend, but it sounded like she was handing him a fake ID. <laughs> and she was just hoping he would believe it's real. <laughs> like the timing of that was so fucked. <laughs> he literally just looked at us and was like, what? I'm like, huh, yeah, you can check my ID. Huh, I hope this works, Riley. <laughs> that was the most unbelievable thing. Like, you even had a camera where you couldn't report. I know, I know. <laughs> like, I fully missed that. I could have gotten that. So you mad. You just set it up over there in the corner and just <laughs> let it continue running. I know. God knows what will happen next. God. <laughs> 
like <laughs> of all places to. It doesn't help because my ID's out of state from here. And you just go, I hope this works. Here you go, huh? I hope this works. No, listen, I've, I've had food poisoning the past few days. Like, I'm just trying to drink. Oh my god. Have you ever heard of, like, when you're hungover, you have a bloodier mimosa and it evens it out? No, I might throw up. If you throw up in a yard house bathroom right now. First she goes home with the guy I already went home with, and now she won't balls up and drink a mimosa. <laughs> yeah, pussy. I have to tip him one. I have to do like one of those Facebook things where I tip him 100%. <laughs> like literally. I'm so embarrassed. At least your ID worked. You'll I drink to that. There's not any champagne. <laughs> the bar, he brought you like, a yeah, lemonade. This girl's like a liar. <laughs>